and back on the road it's 8 30 it's raining and there's going to be a lot of rain later approximately in redondella where we're going now it's like 15, 16 kilometer walk and later we will have up to 76 liters of rain per square meter in 24 hours uh, specific in the afternoon while we are still walking so we want to walk quick no break no pee no drinking no eating just run the shit out that we can arrive there before it starts pouring super strong like 76 liters like like in some areas flooding ooh, ooh, problematic and yeah i'm not looking forward it Let's go. So, bye bye So, right now we are 100 km away from Santiago de Compostela and we're looking for the first stone that shows us that we are on two digits. But it should be right here, right now, coming soon. Stay tuned. Yeah! Yeah, we found it! less than 100 kilometer that hopefully keeps us motivated to do that hustle in the rain so guys you see it strong rain now i changed into a poncho to protect also more the backpack and myself sherry doesn't have one she doesn't want to have buy one and it's quite a lot of rain now Maybe you can see it, I don't know. It's annoying. Short little break. It's very strong rain right now. This poncho is not helping at all. It's totally wet inside. So I change into my rain jacket. We'll put that on. I have very many layers and then we continue. Oh man, so exhausting. It was uphill for one hour almost. Oh, looking forward to arrive. Oh, it's so wet. So exhausting. Ninety-three kilometer left to Santiago. I will never do that thing again. What was I thinking about? I could be two weeks in Japan, eating nice food, or take a hot bath in these hot springs onsen. Mm. Now I'm walking here in the mud. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Oh, it's really muddy. Hey, we made it to Redondela, our destination for tonight. 15 more minutes and we arrive at the accommodation. Yeah. And then a hot shower is waiting for us. At least for me, but I guess for you too, Sherry, right? And later will be 70 liter, 75 liter running. So yeah. we need to reach our accommodation in one hour. Also. Yeah, strong rain is coming soon. Yes. Room tour! So, this is our accommodation for tonight in Redondela. It's called Camino de Praia, I think. We have a little kitchen here, a very little, small, short couch, but it's fine. Fridge, sherry is here, a plant, big television, don't need that. And yeah, just 
here on a small street. You see the clouds, they are coming, so we are happy that we arrived already. Small, modern, oh, rain shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Enough rain showers <laughs> these days. Outside there is a little area for laundry and dryer we can use and we will use it later. It was around, for around 70 euro, I think, mm -hmm. euros. That's it. We finally we arrived! Yeah. <laughs> it is so nice. They have coffee, they have little snacks, they have milk and tea and jam. I just made my first coffee and I'm so tired. This is how it basically looks always when we arrive. <laughs> Take off everything, losing our, our clothes, hang it on. And now it's time for shower. It's 7.30 in the evening and we stayed the whole time in our room because it was just raining. I don't know if you can see that, but it's rainy, it's windy. Oh man, maybe we just go out to the restaurant around the corner. Actually, there's a restaurant. Should we just go to the restaurant and eat there? Uh, I don't feel like going out again. I don't want to get wet again today. No, no everything is still wet. I mean, we had a wash. We did laundry, used the dryer, but uh, energy level zero. And the city is like 50 minute walk away. Mm -hmm. And it's just rainy, we rainy. <laughs> okay, let's prepare for dinner. Uh, let's go around the corner. Yo. Dinner time. Pasta carbonara, bolognese. You keep it safe. Simple and safe. Wow, wow. So we have a shoe dryer here from our um, house owner. Let's see how we do it. So she said put the shoes on that. There's on and off. And you can set 30 minutes, 60 minutes, even to two hours for that. Let's see how dry will our shoes be. All right. Hi, my uh, love. So. So, Camino, would you do it again? Hmm? <laughs> I wouldn't. I think I wouldn't because I, uh, we have to take vacation for like at least two weeks, and then you have to prepare that in advance. Mm -hmm. um, and and then. If you're unlucky like us, you have very bad weather. Yeah, and um, it's really not planable because before we start, our plan was in the full two weeks, there were only one raining day. According That's, to the weather forecast yes. before we started actually. And we put two packages of sun cream with us, mm -hmm. which we will not, not use anymore actually, yeah. only for the first two or three days. And that's the reason that yeah. I didn't purchase a red poncho because I don't think it's like must have and I can just get it through this one single day with my um, rain jacket and then everything will be sunny and fine again but no, at seaside But that's the thing, minimalize your luggage Do we need a poncho? Maybe not <laughs> Now we know it better, well Yes Yeah, we also call it a day now just take a shower now and then we go to bed to mm -hmm. start the next rainy day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Good, night. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Sunday morning, on the road again. It's not raining yet. It will rain later. But compared to yesterday, it's three liter in a whole day, so maybe it's better. Not that much, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it don't change. Yeah, we're on the way to Ponte Vedra. I think it's called like that. It's a bigger city. It's approximately, it's like 20 kilometer five six hour walk depending how high 
We have to go up and down again. It's nice here, isn't it? But you see the clouds still threatening us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see how it go oh, uphill, how it will continue, yeah. What a nice morning. Sometimes it's very steep. You don't see it on camera, but it's very steep and exhausting. Now we have to surpass this one. Sometimes the road is like that. Yeah. Didn't last long. It's raining again. Raining. A real nice forest actually. Yeah, but it's already very muddy here. Oh, it's going to be a challenge today again. I'm here. How many percent? Mm, 30? 30 percent. Okay. This is just my routine question from now and then. So far the rain stopped again, it's a bit annoying, I mean better than rain the whole time but you get to take off your rain jacket, the poncho, it's sweaty, it's steamy, mm -hmm. then it's raining again, you have to dress up again, um, yeah, I think the, the path would be very nice if the weather is good, but under these conditions it's quite hard, difficult. But we have already only 71 kilometers ahead of us, according to some stones. So we did already 15, 16 kilometers today. And maybe one more hour and then we will arrive at our destination for today. One of Sherry's new hobbies, filming barking dogs. Rain stopped, but it's still up in the clouds, so there will be rain later too. We picked up our luggage and now we're on the way to our accommodation. We had a little lunch break in a cafe, had some hot chocolate and cappuccino. And hot chocolate is really like hot chocolate. It's so thick, it's not like a cacao or something. Huh? It's melted chocolate. Calorie bomb. We went to a little supermarket. It wasn't a supermarket, it was more like a convenience store. Sunday supermarkets here are closed also, at least in Ponte Vedra. So we need to get some drinks since you cannot drink the tap water here. And it's raining again, I feel it. <laughs> Five more minutes to the accommodation. So we got our keys, right? Yeah, from the bakery. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why outside is so loud. Is it raining? No. Turns out there is a small river. So let's go to explore the city. Yeah, let's go out. After a small nap time, one and a half hours. One and a half hour walk. Yeah. Now we're walking through the city center. Um, it's a bit windy here, 
feels like autumn, it's Sunday, everything is closed, so many things are closed, actually just cafes are open. Yeah, after my nap I already want to eat something. Earlier was at a cafe eating some cold bread. For Sasha it's okay to eat as a meal for me. I need something warm. So she wanna have lunch at 5 o'clock now and dinner at 8 o'clock now. <laughs> this is Spanish time, isn't it? Yeah, Spanish would be 10, 11 maybe. Come on. <laughs> Go to bed at 2 and uh, get up at 7.30. I don't know if that helps out. We will see. We will walk around a little bit. around the city and since it started to rain again we go to find some lunch no not lunch actually dinner to find dinner let's see what we will can get so the second restaurant according to Google Maps where we want to go and is open is also closed it's a bit difficult to find something open now. Let's find a nice place. We are hungry now. Finally we found something where we can eat. Now we are so hungry. Yeah, we will see what we get. We're a bit disappointed because again we found two nice restaurants, both closed on Sundays. According to Google Maps, it's open. They just don't update their Google Maps, yeah. so everyone thinks they're open but arrive closed. And if you do that for two hours, kind of, it's annoying. Then we have maybe 8,000 more steps for the day. Just for looking for food. Alright. So we finished. <coughs> Uh, dinner and we are going home now since it's almost eight o'clock. Hey, on the way we saw a very, very good pastry shop and it has like chocolate donut or chocolate is over this size. Let's it's... go to the first, right? Oh, yeah, let's go and buy the breakfast for tomorrow. You heard it. So this is the price for the pastries we bought. A chocolate cake is 3 euros. I think it's quite special that right here they um, put the cakes on the weight. Yeah, they weighed it. Then they charge it. You don't pay the piece, you pay by gram. You guys don't know how heavy it was. It? I mean, this is my hand. <laughs> it doesn't really show anything, but those are monsters. That is this is a creamy thing. Creamy It's super heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's not cream actually. I think it's something like. Uh, yeah. 